This just came across the transom here. I want to put this tweet up uh, from the New York Times. Uh, they seem to have broken this story. I'm reading from the piece in the New York Times right now, quote, Chinese hackers who are believed to have burrowed deep into American communications networks targeted data from phones used by former President Trump and his running mate, Senator J.D. Vance. That's according to people familiar with the matter who said that to the New York Times. Uh, they go on to say this, that investigators are working to determine what communications data, if any, was taken or observed by the sophisticated penetration of telecom systems. Now, the type of information on phones used by a presidential candidate and his running mate could be a gold mine for an intelligence agency, who they called and texted, how often they communicated with certain people, and how long they talked to those people could be highly valuable to an adversary like China. Now, the New York Times says that sort of communications data could be even more useful if hackers could observe it in real time. Now, the New York Times says this, the Trump campaign team was made aware this week that the Republican presidential nominee and his running mate were among a number of people inside and outside of government whose phone numbers had been targeted through the infiltration of Verizon phone systems here. So that is the news here, uh, and this is quite something. We do have a statement in right now. This is a joint statement uh, from both the FBI and uh, a government agency known as CISA. Now, CISA stands for the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency. They say this in their statement. I'm reading it. The U.S. government is investigating the unauthorized access to commercial telecommunications infrastructure by actors affiliated with the People's Republic of China. It goes on to say, after the FBI identified specific malicious activity targeting the sector, the FBI and CISA immediately notified affected companies, rendered technical assistance, and rapidly shared information to assist other potential victims. They say the investigation is ongoing, and we encourage any organization that believes it might be a victim to engage its local FBI field office or CISA. Now, they go on to say this. The agencies across the U.S. government are collaborating to aggressively mitigate this threat and are coordinating with our industry partners to strengthen cyber defenses across the commercial communications sector there. So uh, this is somewhat reminiscent a la earlier this year, earlier this summer, uh, of what the FBI told all of us uh, was an Iranian hack, an Iranian cyber attack into both the Trump and then the Biden campaigns, remember. Uh, and now we're seeing uh, malicious Chinese actors doing the same uh, and the phones of both donald trump and jd vance caught up in this penetration of the verizon systems here and i wanted to read out that statement that's what we're getting so uh this is a breaking news story uh, hopefully we can get a little bit later on this whether or not the campaigns will respond to this as well we'll be on the lookout for that but in the meantime